Hey, welcome back to Mini Bird Chats. My name is Kate, and today I'm going to talk about uh, Yule Fest in South Carolina, which I attended yesterday. So yesterday I went down to South, uh, to Chelsea in South Carolina to um, attend Yule Fest, which is an annual literary festival they have focusing on middle grade and young adult books. And there were a couple of adult authors there as well. And I went down, there's um, some talks. I didn't attend because I didn't really want to be indoors in COVID. I also, they did have a really good COVID policy. You either had to show proof of vaccination or proof of a recent uh, negative test to attend the signings. And the authors were mostly wearing masks and um, if they were indoors. So yeah, it was really good atmosphere. The people in the queues were lovely, but I met some of the nicest authors I have ever met, some of the nicest people I've ever met yesterday. So I'm gonna insert some clips here. I went by myself, so I didn't have anyone to film, and it was so busy. There were super long queues for everything, and most things were indoors, so it was very hard to film. So I'm just gonna insert some pictures and little clips I got yesterday, and you can look at those. <laughs> And people anxiously Not once did speak to me When tides came did not flee The East spoke the same, had the same dreams Same pain and same feelings So when I first got there I joined the queue to meet uh, Tahara Mafi and uh, Ransom Briggs Ransom Riggs, who um, I believe are married. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're married. They were together in the tent, and they were signing like together. So the queue for them was so long. When I first got there, I went to the side of the building to queue, and I got there 30 minutes early for their signing. And then we went in this massive loop and got back to exactly where I was, and it was like a zigzag pattern. And they were they were being very straightforward and saying, we don't know if you're going to get in to have your book signed and meet the authors, but um, I do kind of wish there'd been like maybe a ticket system. If you turned up, you maybe gave out, I don't know, 50, 60, I don't know, I don't organize events, but like 50 or 60 tickets because I waited, I was there for about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes in the end before I was about six people deep. I'll see if I can set a picture of how close I was to the tent when they said, oh, you're not going to get in to get your book signed. So I was just a bit disappointed. Whereas if I think I hadn't waited so long, I would have been like, ah, it is what it is. But I was there on plenty of time. They are popular, but I am kind of upset, especially when you get to meet Tara and Rafi because I have this um, original Shatter Meet, which I'd love to have got signed. But nonetheless, maybe next year and um, while I was queuing up to see um, uh, uh, Renson Briggs and um, I also met the guy who wrote this book he was just I don't know if he was doing a, a panel I'm not really sure why he was there but he was so nice and um, his name is um, Naz Katub, I believe it's pronounced I should have asked him I think that's right Naz Katub, and he has a book coming out next year called The Loophole and um, it comes out on June 7th 2022 and he signed a bookmark for me so if he's ever super famous I already I was I met him first but he's a really really sweet guy he was going along just chatting to everybody and just saying his book's coming out next year if you're interested but it sounds really interesting it's a YA fantasy about a guy whose partner left to go save the world and it's about whether he can I think he gets granted wishes it says, prepare for fans of we both die, uh, they both die at the end, but without all the dying. And songs, the songs of Achilles, but again, without all the dying. The song of Achilles, but again, without all the dying. I haven't really either of these books because they're both too sad, so maybe this one won't be so sad. But um, it's based from the synopsis on um, Goodreads, which I will leave in the description box down below. It sounded really interesting. So this is me meeting him. I just like get a picture. I say one day he was super famous, but he was so nice. Um, but my fringe looks crazy in this picture. It was windy and I'm not very good at taking selfies. But yeah, so if you're interested in some new fantasy coming out next year, I'll link that down below so you can have a look. But that's called The Loophole by Nazca Tube. And it's set in between England and Turkey, possibly, looking at the pictures. But yes, and really sweet. He also had a whole bunch of clothes made with his um, book cover on, which is genius. If I ever get a published book, I'm doing that for self-promotion. That's an amazing idea. But yes, so he was really nice too. So after that, I went to his mother's signings. There was a few people I really wanted to meet during the day, so I took some books to get signed. And one of those was, Sherlock, you can hear me, Sherlock down here. Um, one of those was These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Um, I really, really enjoyed this book. And she was there to do signings. So I, between other signings, she was kind of, you had to queue for everything, like everything. There was like an hour queue to meet these people, which is absolutely fine. That's no issue. It's lovely to meet people there doing this for free. So excited to meet them. But everything took an hour. So I'd actually kind of missed her slot and I ran down to see if I could still get in the queue and it was still going. And this really sweet girl said, oh, you know, you just join in, it's no worries. So if you're watching, I really appreciate that. But I met Chloe um, who signed my book for me 
in silver. She was very impressed with this pen. She kept saying how much she enjoyed this pen to the woman who'd given it to her. She seems really, really sweet. So if you haven't read this yet, it is a retelling of Romeo and Juliet set in 1920s Shanghai. And it's the best time to read it in Access to Geology. And the second one comes out this month. So I really recommend this book. And the author was so sweet. And I set a picture of me meeting her. And yeah, really lovely lady. So I um, highly recommend this book if you haven't read it yet. She is a really, really nice girl. But you could tell I was like the last person there. She'd been signing for about an hour and 45 minutes by this point. You could tell she was like exhausted. It must be so hard to make small talk that long. I couldn't do that. I'm terrible at small talk. Awful at small talk. Um, another person I met was um, Namina Fauna, who wrote The Gilded Ones. This is a book about people who um, are part, like, demons it shows in their blood it's a really really good book it's like a um, YA adventure book set in like an African kind of inspired fantasy land uh, where there's like demons who attack and then there's part demons who uh, sort of form like a warrior group to keep them at bay I read this earlier in the end it's a really really good read and the second one comes out early next year or maybe summer next year and um, so I, mean, I didn't get a photograph unfortunately because I was by myself and at the other places I had people who would help me take pictures and stuff and there wasn't when I went to meet her but she seemed really sweet and um, a bit like me not hugely chatty i'm the same way i can never think of anything to say when people need small talk but she came across really really friendly and really good book here in Rydia. and then i also met uh grady hendrix who wrote the final girl support group i have read i haven't read this one but i have read um the southern vampire the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires by him i didn't love that book but i think i need to reread it because at the time i didn't read a lot of like horror and thrillers and stuff and i do more now so i think i'm going to give it another go but this man is one of the nicest people i have ever met his queue took, it wasn't even that long, but it took forever to get through because every single person he was writing personalised notes and chatting with them and like getting to know them. And one girl he was talking to for like 15, 20 minutes, just really, really, really sweet person. And we got in a conversation about the fact that he's going to Cambridge next year to do some research. And I think he thought I asked him out because he, I said, he said, I'll be in Cambridge next year. And I said, oh, sorry, I won't be there. I live here now thinking he was saying I'll be there for like a book talk or something in case I wanted to go but he said oh sorry I wasn't saying we should meet up for coffee I was just saying I'll be there so yeah, that was a bit awkward but he's so nice so he wrote me a little note and he also had stamps and he chose a stamp that he thought was appropriate for everybody and he said to me I've given everyone else chainsaws but you don't like you should get a hatchet I don't I don't really know how to take that but he wrote Kate basically Charleston is full of psychopathic murderers fortunately nurses are basically final girls you have a good chance of surviving good luck Grady Hendrix as you can see, very little knowing, gave me a little stamp. Really, really sweet guy. And when he had done his signing, he went to the main like book tent and all of the books they had available for sale, he was signing them all. And if you saw him there, he'd also personalize it for it. Whereas a lot of people had to rush off. I'm not criticizing people have lives, but he stayed behind. I think he does live relatively local because Southern Guy, Southern Girls got that, that book. Um, is set in um, Columbia, I believe, South Carolina, which is very near where I live. So I think he is local to the area, but yeah, really, really sweet guy. So if you're looking for new horror writers, he's definitely one I would say to support because he comes across so, so lovely. And he just take a photograph with me and look at that snappy suit. That is a snappy suit. Really sweet guy. So I'm looking forward to reading that. And I do want, I really want to read Horror Store by him. So I'm really looking forward to hopefully be there next year. So if I do read Horror Store, he can get that one signed as well. Such a nice guy. I don't know if I said, but he's such a nice guy. I had a really nice day yesterday, everyone was really friendly. But I also met another super friendly person who was um, Shelby Mahorin. She told me how to say it, I asked her because I kept saying it wrong. Shelby Mahorin, it's a hard H, Mahorin. Um, really, really lovely lady. She was signing books. I said, I'm sorry I made you sign all three. She was like, no, no, it's fine. But if you haven't read Serpent and Dove, it's a book about a witch hunter who is forced to marry a witch. She doesn't know she's a witch at first. And it's a really, really sweet trilogy. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's finished now. So if you want to read a completed series, I highly recommend this one. But she signed and personalized all my books. Um, lovely signature. I couldn't make my signature look the same three times in a row. Um, really, really sweet lady. And she was doing the signings in the tent. And the girl behind me was so excited to meet her. I, I thought she might pass out. I almost fainted meeting Grady Hendrix because it was so flipping hot. But she almost passed out just because she was so excited. So people love her. But she's so nice. And she said she speaks to Shelby Mahurin. Mahurin. I really hope I'm saying that right. Um, a lot on social media. Apparently she's very active on social media and very friendly to people there. So she really is, does come across lovely. But once she'd done all the signings, they did a cut off time where you said you're probably not going to get to meet her because the tent needed using for the next hour. Say she was signing at two, it needed using at three, something like that. But um, I have a photograph here. I just took it to show how lovely she is. That's her back, in case you can't see. But she, um, when she was done signing her book, she didn't just leave. She came out and signed everybody's books who was remaining in the queue and took pictures of everybody. Such a sweet lady. So. If you haven't read these books, I highly recommend them. The author is lovely. She was just really personable, and they said that I didn't like a frizzy mess, which I appreciated because I felt like a frizzy mess yesterday. It was so hot. 
I was wearing like a jumper. When I looked at the weather at home, it wasn't that hot. And where I live in South Carolina, it wasn't that hot. So hot there. Oh my goodness. Also, I will say, if you're going next year, take water. I didn't drink anything from when I left the house at like 8 a.m. yesterday until I got home at almost 7 p.m. Um, I didn't have anything to drink because you're literally going from queue to queue to queue to queue. Um, obviously, I had a drink on the way home. So yeah, from like 9 a.m. to like 5 p.m. I didn't drink anything and I was standing up the whole day. So if you do decide to go, I highly, highly recommend going. It's a really nice atmosphere there. All the authors are super friendly and um, it is busy. You will do a lot of queuing, a lot of standing. You carry these super heavy books around. Um, and you won't be able to see more, probably more than one author per hour. So if you do decide to go, which I do recommend, just bear those things in mind, because I was thinking maybe I could get a couple of books signed per hour, and it just is too busy for that. So if you do get the chance to go next year, I highly recommend it. Chelsea's a really beautiful city as well, and um, they were taking really good COVID precautions, which hopefully won't be an issue next year. But yeah, so met some really lovely authors and some lovely people in the queue. So if you did see me yesterday, because I did talk to quite a few people, which is not like me, I'm not a big chatter, but everyone was super friendly. Um, I'm not a big chatter because I'm an awkward person. Um, if you did see me yesterday, please let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to follow you on social media. Everyone there was super friendly and lovely. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll get to go back next year. And hopefully I'll meet Grady Hendrix and Shelby McHugh and we'll have a new book out next year to get signed because both of those are lovely. And I'm getting the next one of Chloe Gong signed. And, or maybe it'll be after the Gilded ones come out. I could just do a, like a repeating signing list. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I wish I had more fish to show you. Next year I'll take a cameraman with me, hopefully. Um, by which I mean my husband. But um, hopefully the photographs give you a kind of vibe of what it's like do really recommend it if you ever get the chance to go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.